Hello, my name is Kenneth Wang. I am a staff member in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm going to discuss today the use of breath testing for esophageal gastric cancers. This is an area of research we've been actively engaged in in Mayo Clinic Rochester for several years. And basically, the test is extremely simple to do. A participant just needs to breathe into a machine that is portable, battery operated, can be used virtually anywhere for a total of about five minutes. During that time period, the device actually accumulates a signature from the breath that allows us to see if there are substances in the breath that could perhaps predict Barrett's esophagus and esophageal gastric cancers. The reason that you might produce this kind of signature is because we believe that there are certain specific bacteria that grow in people that develop this type of tumor. These bacteria in turn metabolize or use energy and then give off a certain waste product which we detect in your breath. It's been used for many different types of diseases but in this particular case we thought that it was useful for the esophagus even though this isn't something you'd associate with breathing but because of this bacterial action. The bacteria that causes these kinds of problems can actually reside anywhere in your mouth as well as the GI tract. So that's why we looked at this particular area. The advantages of this type of testing would simply be that you can do it anywhere. You could do it in the workplace. You could do it in shopping malls, anywhere. And, even better, the person that administered the test doesn't have to be a physician. In fact, we think that this test could even be mailed directly to individuals at risk and they could do this test at home. It's that simple. Only thing you have to do is breathe into the machine, which I think isn't beyond the capabilities of most people today. And we hope that by making it a low cost device, this can be used for the general population rather than very specific targeted groups such as being proposed for other tests. So we don't have to take a big questionnaire or something like that to find out if you'll be eligible. That's our hopes for the future. We have done some preliminary studies that we have actually published last year to indicate that this test is about 80% accurate for finding uh, a condition called Barrett's esophagus, which is the only precursor that we know of for esophageal adenocarcinoma. I hope this helps your understanding of what we're trying to do and some knowledge about how simple breath tests are. Thank you very much for your attention.